When we're teenagers, we get the idea that we know everything, that somehow we have acquired all the knowledge we'll ever need and that our parents have nothing else to teach us. Years pass before we realize that our parents knew a lot more than they let on. They understood that lectures wouldn't get through to us anymore, so they switched to another, more subtle method. It was called teaching by example. I went through all the books, and I did all the calculations. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Just look at the figures, Dad. I mean, this is basic business 101 stuff. I believe you. Well, then just stop a minute and let me explain it to you. All right. Go ahead. OK. Um, all right, now, now look. Right here, I made a chart. Oh, that looks pretty good. Did you do all that today? Yeah. Now listen. I thought you were supposed to uh, take a rest on your holiday break. Dad. See this column? This is a sample of some of the things in the store. Now, this column next to it, this is how much you paid for each item, your wholesale cost. Now, next to that, I made a column of how much you charge your customer, your retail value. Now, I subtracted... Uh, Dad, you're not listening. Oh, yes, I am. I've been known to do two things at once at... Sometime or other. I really want you to pay attention. I mean, I got an A minus in this. I know what I'm talking about. All right, but uh, speed it up. I've got a whole truckload of product to unload in the back. What's your point? Okay, um, well, here's the point. Uh, your profit margin's too slim. You don't charge enough. Well, I charge more than I paid for it. People would pay more. If you just raised your prices by 10%, Although I recommend 15. Even if you lost 7% of your sales, I am not more going to raise my prices, negative... Steve. But you're missing an opportunity. Is that what they're teaching you at college? Market analysis, economic theory. You know, this is what it takes to succeed today. Oh, well, I've got along just fine up till now without all that stuff. Dad, I overheard you and Mom talking last night. I know you're struggling. Well, we're, we're okay. But you could do better. This store bought our house. It kept you fed and in clothing, and now it's paying for your school. We're fine. I just want to help. I appreciate that. But I have to run this store the way I have to run it. I can't do it any other way. There's more to it than making a good graph. Why don't you look after this next customer? I'll start unloading out in the back. Hey there. How can I help you? I'm looking for a toy. It's a Christmas present for my big brother. Okay. Come with me and I'll show you what we have. Okay. Here's all our toys. How much did you want to spend? Five dollars and twelve cents. I got it collecting bottles. Okay, well, basically, you can afford anything on the bottom shelf. There's uh, yo-yos, jump ropes, baseballs, mini footballs, stuff like that. Uh, you know what, I'm... I'm going to go back over there. Let me know if you, you need any help. OK. Ah, did you find something? The coolest Christmas present. Uh. <laughs> You, that's not from the bottom shelf. That is a great choice. Uh, Dad, he, he picked... Um, yeah, I see that. My brother likes to build stuff. He always wanted one of these. Uh, Dad, he, he picked something. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I'm sure he's going to love it. You don't even need glue. Well, let's ring it up. Now, that comes to $10.36. He's only got five dollars. Oh, you don't have any more? Um, wait a minute. Uh, wait a 
minute. Isn't this supposed to be a clearance item? What? Yeah, Steve, did you forget to change the price on this? Uh, yeah. That, that's right. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. I, that's supposed to be five dollars and twelve cents. That's just what I got. There you go. Merry Christmas. have some work to do in the back. Let me know if you still want to go over those business charts.